Hey everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. Today on today's Sunday gear review, I want to talk to you about the ModLite PL350 pistol mounted light. I really honestly think if you are going to carry a pistol mounted light, you want to seriously consider this one. Big Tech's Ordnance is my go-to source for accessories for all your defensive and competition firearms. They have great holsters with accessories for concealment and ship fast at great prices. I'm a proud customer and recommend them without hesitation. So once again, thanks to Big Tech's Ordnance for sponsoring our weekly gear reviews. Um, you notice I look like a bum right now. It's because I actually am fighting a very mild case of COVID. I will try my best not to uh, cough into the camera so that you don't get it through the YouTubes. So I'm stuck at home and uh, this light actually launches tomorrow, tomorrow morning, Monday uh, at 8 a.m. Central Time, so 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. You can pick one of these up on Big Tech's Ordnance. Um, and they sent me this one for review, and I, I gotta tell you, if you are going to have a pistol-mounted light, and I keep this one on my home defense gun, I'm keeping this one now on my home defense gun. This is um, Tybolt, my home defense gun. It's an HK P30 Lem. Uh, with a trigger in it by Grey Guns, some Jerkman Custom Grips, a Holosun 507, and now a PL350. Um, and and I'll, I gotta tell you, I took the old light off um, the, the gun. I'm gonna use this one. I think it is absolutely phenomenal. So there's a close-up. Basically what you have here is you have a, uh, a 18350 body. So that takes the short version of these rechargeable 18350s with a mod light PLHV2, or you can get it on the Big Tex Ordnance website with a OKW head. I think for indoor outdoor use and for pistol use, the PLHV2 is a little bit better. This particular head throws 1350 candela, but about, uh, I'm sorry, 1350 lumens, forgive me there, but 54,000 candela. Um, you know, the competitor, probably the big competitor, Surefire X300 U boat, um, is a fantastic light. Right, don't get me wrong, you know, if you got a U boat, you got a good light. Um, and that guy at the same price point, these are both about 320 bucks. Um, for these lights, uh, either one, 320 for this one, 330 for the U-boat, I think. Um, and it throws 1,000 lumens, about 11,000 candela. So this guy throws a lot more candela downrange. So you get a very bright light on exactly what you need to see. But you get enough spill with the PLH V2 that it will light up an interior room. It won't overpower your eyeballs. I've done it many times. I know people go, oh, you're gonna wash out your eyes. You're really not. It's just not a problem. You wanna positively identify and light is a very good thing. Um, you also know, um, we could talk about the fact that I don't carry a, um, a light on the pistol on my concealed carry pistol, but on my home defense gun, because you are gonna, generally speaking, a very much higher chance of having to look at a bump in the night or something that's going on at night and you may not have an opportunity to go get your handheld light. I think having a light on your uh, home defense pistol is really important. And so this is the one that's on mine. PLH V2 head. Next thing that I want you to notice is how thin it is. So you see, when I turn it around here, you can see it actually adds, you can see it right there, almost no width to the gun at all. The only thing that it adds is a tiny little bit right there at the um, at the switches. And so that makes this one very narrow as opposed to the other one. So, so the reason for that is you got an 18350 battery, a single 18350 in here, as opposed to some of the other ones, um, they're about the same. I, I realize I don't have any CR123s, um, but whether you're talking a TLR1HL or a U-boat, they are using two CR123s side by side, which are about the same size as this. So you can see that it would add considerable width there for me to do that. So, so it's much thinner to only have one and that helps in the holstering department if you're gonna carry it CCW. One of the other parts, if you can actually carry it, I'm gonna do a separate review on this uh, Filster floodlight for it. But one of the reasons I love this is because it's narrow, because it's thin, when we put this in the holster, one of the things that you'll see is it actually has good trigger guard coverage um, with a light on it. And that's because of the thinness. They're able to do that, very difficult to do, um, with the wider holster, so or with the wider light. So that makes this guy a great winner. It's super bright, guys. 54,000 candela, crazy bright. I'm in studio lighting here and even though I like I don't know if you can see that but boy with st I, I got studio lights on this wall and I, you can see just a crazy good bright beam so that's the beauty here of 50 uh, some odd thousand candelas you get this nice bright light on what you want to see and you get a nice spill around it
point it. So you can use this by pointing the gun down so you can go here at a low ready position, turn that light on and, and get good spill to see all around you, plenty of light bounce um, and get really bright light on what you need out to as far as you're ever going to shoot a pistol. The other thing I adore, the thing that I adore about this light is the fact that it comes off the front. The light, the battery is replaceable off the front. The other lights that are on the market, you gotta unmount the light in order to replace the batteries because you replace the batteries at the um, switching. But here instead, now you notice I've got a barrel block in this guy, right? So I'd be very cautious. You don't wanna point a gun at your hand and you don't wanna be doing stuff like this with a live gun, but I've got a barrel block in there, so it's a train tool. So, so look, I just unscrew the light at the top, pop battery out, ta-da, put a new 18350 in it, screw back on, rock and roll, super easy, didn't have to take the, the light off, no need for more Vibertite or Loctite or whatever. Well, of course, it's not going to do it easy when I do it on camera because I'm trying to talk to you. So it takes just a few seconds. So, so what would I recommend you do? Have an extra battery once a month or so pop those out first of the month, put your new battery in, right? So that battery run time on this guy is gonna run about 35 minutes. And um, I know some people are like, well, wait a minute, John, an 18650 lasts longer. Nah, that's true, but I mean, 35 minutes is crazy long. Unless you're a, an on-duty law enforcement officer who is holding um, short or holding long on, on something and, and you need this light on for all that time, 35 minutes is crazy way long enough. And I think you'll be good. And not having to take the light off in order to uh, holster, in, in order to change the battery is awesome. So if you go on the old internet, one of the things that people will say is no good that they're there. I had several people, several internet denizens say, but John, it doesn't have momentary on. Okay. And here's the, here's the momentary on ready. Turn it on, turn it off. Ready? Let me do that again. I've got two hands on the gun. Ready? Turn it on, turn it off. Simple as that. If I go, Hey, I want to see what's going on there. Turn it on. When I'm done, turn it off. Notice all I did was move my thumb. If you wanted to do it the other way because it felt a little bit more comfortable, we'll talk about this in another video about some handheld lighting techniques. But ready? When I want to turn it on, I, I, I've got a full firing grip on the gun rather than this thumb that's not doing anything for recoil control or anything. Anyways, all I do here is slide it underneath, pop that up. Good. When I want to turn it off, I just come from the top and turn it off. Super easy. Uh, I, I don't really see, think it's a problem. And one of the things I want you to hear, let's see if you can hear this in my mic. Hear how positive and tactile those clicks are so good one of the problems with um, the momentary switching that i see this all the time is when people use the momentary switching part so so say for instance again on a u-boat you push forward and then the gun starts recoiling you start seeing the light flash on and off intermittently so it really kind of hurts you instead again i just like here i'll pop that light up then then do my thing get everything that i need to do bang 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 and then turn the light off if i need to so so uh you also get in the box you get some filster arc switches these are super cool right so uh, i have left them in the box take them out of the bag so you can see them. So these are arc switches and so you can change the length of this. I have long thumbs or at least relatively long so this size, size works perfect for me but if you've got more uh, short fingers these might uh, be very helpful for you. So on a home defense gun Man, I love this. I think that the PLH V2 head will reach out as far as your home defense needs are going to have you, certainly for a pistol. I think that the rechargeable batteries in it, fantastic, because you can change them um, without taking the light off the gun. That's fantastic. If you choose to carry a light on a CCW gun, we'll talk about it another day. I don't think you're wrong if you do. I think having something like this allows it, because it's thinness, uh, to be uh, uh, carried more uh, securely without the worry so much about the trigger guard being open because it's going to be a lot less open. Um, I love the switching on it. I love the life of the battery. I, you guys know I love the Mod Light heads. I don't have any relationship with Mod Light. Um, I, you know, I've, I've, I think I've met the owner once at a trade show. But uh, I, man, this is the light right here. Now, I think the only downside is that it's a $320 light. And so you go, gosh, John, that seems like an awful lot of money. It is a lot of money. Uh, I certainly would recommend that rather than buy something cheap, you know, you buy uh, a much cheaper lights and, and they're out there. I know somebody's gonna say, but my Olight, Man, I've seen too many Olights fail in class. I've seen too many uh, things under recoil not have a good time. I've seen them eat batteries too many times. I think that when we have fully potted electronics and, and really tested to be able to handle the recoil of a SCAR, um, this is the way to go. Uh, it is expensive though. So if you don't have 320 bucks, this one's not for you. Um, 
it's definitely made its way to my home defense gun. And if you get it, trust me here, go get it at Big Tech's. Ike and his team and Chris and those folks do incredible work. You can get it, actually you can order it with a PL350 uh, floodlight if you want one, uh, and it'll go live tomorrow. Um, I, I don't make a commission on that or anything like that, but let's support the people who support us. Uh, Big Tech's doing a great job. This Mod Light PL350, mm -hmm, it's a game changer.